me why you just do Hold on a second. Those, those just don't work. Anyway, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Maison number nine. It is the French wine that was made in collaboration with Post Malone. Yes, the, the singer, Post Malone. And it is from France. It's 12.5% alcohol by volume. And I've heard a lot of people talking about it, but no one I know who's talking about it has actually tried it yet. So I got a bottle for myself. Let's see if it's any good. Get my glass and let's get to the color. I like. I jokingly call these things butt plugs because I have no one else. <laughs> Glass stoppers? I, I, I just think they're funny. Anyway, so let's go ahead and pour a sample and get a look at the color. So, mm, gotta pop that in hard. So, from a color standpoint, I would say you're probably a, a pale. Yes. Pale salmon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, on the nose. Hmm. So I'm getting a little bit of strawberry, getting a little bit of red cherry, touch of peach, a little bit of lemon. It's a very typical French rose. Maybe like a touch of like cantaloupe. Yeah, like a little bit of a cantaloupe melon in there as well. And just a little bit of bubble gum. Yeah, just a little bit of bubble gum. Let's get to the taste. Wow. So, high acid, I like that. Really nice fruit. Like, all those kind of berry notes and melon notes and everything just comes out very nicely. Nothing's overpowering. The alcohol is present, but it's it's very subdued. No noticeable amount of tannins. Uh, I would say it's probably about medium body. As I said, high acid, medium alcohol. Finish is medium minus finish. I, I wish the finish would be a little bit longer. Intensity on the palate is, it, it's a high intensity wine. Or medium plus, somewhere around there. Nose. Medium, medium on the nose. So a whole bunch of people are giving this wine crap and it's obvious they haven't tried it. I don't think it's bad, but the rating, I, I don't know, let's, let's get to the blick. From a balance standpoint, you're in balance. I'm giving you a full point. I really like the structure, I like the acid. The acid really helps propel the fruit. This actually has potential to kind of sit around for a little bit in your cellar. You don't have to drink it immediately, which is nice. Uh, I would, sit on rosés too long, but you don't have to drink it as soon as you buy it. So if you want to hold on to it for a while, that's cool. But yeah, everything plays well together. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a point in balance. Length, no points, needs a medium finish. Yeah, medium minus, no points there. So in terms of intensity, uh, you're medium on the nose, medium plus to pronounced. I like at a minimum to have a medium plus to a pronounced nose, as well as on the palate to get a full point but you're in solid half point territory, you get that. In terms of complexity, I'm getting melon, I'm getting breadfruit, I'm getting some citrus. I, I am getting a good chunk of, of fruits going across the board here. The thing I'm not getting are winemaking notes, like any sort of malolactic fermentation, no dairy, no cottage cheese, no anything like that. So because of that, I'm gonna give you half a point. So ultimately, that comes out to a full point on balance, zero points on length, half a point on intensity, and half a point on complexity. I'm going to give you a good. You're a good wine. There's there's nothing wrong with this wine whatsoever. So if you do like rosés, I mean, it, it could even be argued that it's two and a half point depending on if the nose intensity doesn't bother you as much and you just want the palate. So two to two and a half points, you're solid good territory. And I mean, if, if you have it, it's, it's not a bad thing to try. I mean, especially because I've tried some other celebrity wine collabs and they've sucked. And and I, I, I just can't say that about this one. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Maison number nine? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I will see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm going to go uh, down the wine aisle of my local store dressed like this and see if anyone wants my autograph. Um... I'm pretty sure they won't. I'll see you later.